for me, honestly, the, the craziest part is I was able to tour as a professional musician. I put out like five or six records, um, been on the road for 11 years. And I still didn't consider myself a musician or like a singer even like at all. It was like that it was something just that I did. It wasn't. I'm not that though, because that means I take it seriously and that means I care and that's fucking horrifying. Uh, so, it, yeah, it was like people talking to me about vocal warm ups and who my teacher was and all that. It was like, I never took a lot. I've never done a warm up in my life. I like smoked cigarettes. I didn't take care. I would lose my voice after three shows because I just didn't know what I was doing. And I'm like, I was just too scared to say that like that's what I am and you meet a lot of or I've met a lot of performers singers especially they just they have this like powerful diva attitude and they love being the center of attention and they're performers and I never like <laughs> I never had that I just like I need to make this music because it's it's kind of how I get through life like I have shit going on in my head and melodies happening and I like I don't really know how I feel until I write a song about it. So it's always been like my journal is like, I don't know. It's like, I can only talk about my feelings if it rhymes. I don't know. <laughs> it's very strange, but everything I write is so personal um, that it's hard for me to just like put on a show and perform and like want to be the center of attention. It's like I'm reading my journal to a room full of drunk people it's just like a vulnerable place to be so I never wanted to take it seriously because it's so it was so serious for me um and now at this point like actually in the last year I finally came to terms with the fact that I am a singer and I'm a songwriter and I'm good at what I do and I can like stand by my soul <laughs> to like you're doing what you're supposed to do stop hiding behind big bands and co-writes and like collaborations like you got this and you can talk to people because you're honest with what you create and that if it comes from your heart then it needs to be made and that's good but yeah it definitely wasn't a it took me a long time of doing it professionally to take myself seriously which is strange for me <laughs> over time creatively I think that the biggest teacher like the best learning experience for me is making music with new people like because everybody that's such a delicate and magical place to get with a person whether you know them or not where you're creating something that didn't exist before the two of you got in this room um, and you're like trusting each other and especially the way I write which is so personal like I'm really like I, I, I'd be in the room with the person that I was falling in love with, writing a song with them about falling in love with them, but hadn't talked to them about it yet. But like, do they know I'm singing about them? Like, probably. Like, they feel it. Okay. Like, so intimate, so personal. And those experiences, like, I feel like every time you create something with someone else, you like, you fall in love a little bit. There's like an, there's an exchange that's so magical. I'm sure it's the same for painting, but like anything, you're creative with another human being. You're making a little life together. Um, and those interactions, like being on the road with different bands and getting to watch them perform every night and playing songs together, um, being in the studio with new players, new producers, like is the collaboration is really like, I never walked away from a musical experience with someone else without learning something huge. So um, that definitely had the the biggest effect on me as a creative person. I don't even think we write our songs. I think the universe puts them right there. And we just like, we just happen to be listening at the right moment. And then we get the song. It's like, a, it doesn't come, we're not making this shit up. Everything's been done before. We're just listening. We're just like funnels for inspiration. I'm gonna trip you out even more. It can be a breadcrumb that you left yourself. <laughs> like it's crazy shit. I don't know, but it comes from somewhere. Like I get a lot of my songs in dreams and I'll be like High Road, a song that I just put out this last year. 
um, I I was in a dream on a stage performing that song, like beginning to end. Every word was written. It was like a complete thing. And I woke up like in a shitty motel on tour somewhere and just like ran outside with my notebook. There's like eight people crashed out in the same hotel room. Ran outside with my notebook next to the pool and just like, ah, like, gotta get it, gotta get it. Like got down as much as I could and was like, all right. Like, but I just remember the feeling of being on stage and performing that song, like feeling what the words did to me and watching what they did to the crowd and being like, this is a, me- this is a message I needed to hear. And my subconscious gave it to me through me, but it wasn't me. It was someone, something else was like, here you go. Here's, here's what you need to hear. And you also need to share it. 